Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel GoDynamic IT. If you have got a new PC without Microsoft Office and you're looking for a free version of Office 365, you are in the right place. In this video, we will guide you step by step on how to download and install Office 365 free from the Microsoft official website. I cannot promise how long it will work without a subscription, but until then you can enjoy it. So let's dive into the video and download and install this Office 365 on your computer. Okay, so in the last video of Office 2024, we have created our own customization tool. But in this one, we are going to utilize Microsoft official website to customize the tools. For that, we have to go to this site. This is the Microsoft official website for customizing this office. So very first thing, it's asking about the what architecture you want to download and deploy. So what is mean is that you whether you have windows 32 bit or 64 bit so few of me will ask like from how do we know my windows is 32 bit or 64 bit don't worry I'll let me show it to you so you have to click on this folder here and once you click on this it will take you to this the home then you have to click on this uh, this pc right click on it and go to properties so when you go to the properties here you can see this is the device name and your processor ram and then it will show you the system type so here you can see this is showing the 64 bit operating system in your case it is showing if it is showing 32 bit or x86 that means you have you have a 32 bit so accordingly you can go ahead and select on this website this microsoft customization tool website so now for for me it's 64 bit let's select the 64 bit here so it says that which office suit you want so um there are lots of options here so let me select this uh, office 365 for enterprise because this is this is having latest and greatest and all the mo much more features than the other version so it says that do you want to install the visio um until unless you are in some kind of architectural field you don't need visio but still if you want to go with that you can go ahead but for me i'll select the none here project i'm not in the project management so um, i'm not looking for to test this project management tool if you wish to go go with that for me i'll select the none and uh, we have to go to the additional product. So in additional product, which is asking about the language packs. Yes, select the language pack here. Now it's talking about the update channel. So update channel is which channel you want to go with it. Go with it. So I want to go with the current channel. And then it's asking about this uh, latest version. Okay. So let's say select the current channel here and then select the version is the latest. And when you scroll it down in the app section, it says that what type of app you want. So I do not want this uh, OneDrive group. So that's one it's been disabled. Skype is also disabled. If you wish to have this, just select that. But let's disable it for now. And I do not want this OneDrive desktop app. I do not want publishers. I do not want Teams. I'm going to use on my single system and uh, let other things as it is. For you, for you, if you want, you can go ahead and enable it. Now it's talking about the background services for Microsoft Bing. So let's disable it. I don't want uh, this Bing to be run in the background. Now it's come to language. So in the language, you say that which language you want to select. So for me, I'll select this English United States. If you are looking for additional language, you can go ahead and select it from here. For me, let's, let's move to next one. It says the additional proofing tool. I don't want click on the next. And in this one installation option, you don't have to select anything. Just click on the next. So it says that upgrade option. So what is the what is asking about if you have already installed the Visual project, SharePoint, and info path, it's going to uninstall it. I don't want if we have already installed it from some other uh, like the older version or something and this is tool is going to disable it this is not good right i might have the license versions now let's uh, disable this one and uh, click on the next when you click on the next it said the product activation let it be the user base click on the next and if you have any general information to provide no general information click on the next or anything you want to go with this uh, modeling 3d model or anything if you want you can go to select it for me I don't think anything relevant to me. So um, just click on the finish here. Done. So your customization option is done. You can select it. You can see all this blue tick box here. So you have done your customization. Now it goes to the second step. Second step is to export this configuration. So click on the export. And now it's asking about the crypt. Keep the current setting. Yes. Select the uh, keep current setting. And click on the OK. And you have to select the uh, license agreement. And it says that you want to change the file name. You, If you want, you can go, go ahead and change the file name. But I would recommend not to do that because I'll give you the set of commands which you are going to run it just copy and paste it will it will work so let's keep it as it is and click on the export and it says that you want to keep it yes 
yes i want to keep that okay. so now this configuration file is downloaded so let's let's go to the phase 2 in the phase 2 we have to download the deployment tool from the microsoft website so we have a link for it so let's go ahead and download this deployment tool so this is our deployment tool here so i'll share this both the links for you don't worry about that and i'll share the command as well so this is the deployment tool i say that this is released on 2024 this is just a 3.6 mb and the system requirement is windows 10 windows 8.1 server 2016 server 2019 windows 11 and server 22 okay and instruction is it says that this is the self extract execute extracting executable okay fine no problem thank you very much uh, microsoft for providing this tool beautiful tool so let's click on the download and we have a both the files are downloaded here so we'll create a base here so just for ease of the process because in my 20 uh, office 2024 video i get lots of lots of comments stating that how to run this uh, command prompts people are doing mistake to run this command so just follow this step so go to the c drive inside the c drive create a new folder new folder and give the name office 365 that's it now you have to do, go to download folders and copy both the files. Just copy the, both the files from here and go to C drive office 365 and paste it here. Right? You pasted that? Okay. So right click on this tool, run as administrator, click on the yes and I say that where you want to extract that. Click on the continue and it will ask you to where you want to extract it. So remember that we have to do into the C drive and office 365 folder. So let's go to this PC C drive, office 365, click on the okay. Okay. So now we have all these files here. Okay. So until here, up to here, we are good to go. Now move to the third phase. So third phase is executing this setup the file okay for that we have to go to the search button and type cmd we have to open the command prompt right click on it and run as a administrator click on the yes um this font is looks very um, small to me so let me let me make it bigger so that um, it will be good for both of us to view it okay so hope this this is good okay so now what we have to do is we have to type cd right and then we have to give the path so where what is the path where is our folder so go to this folder this office 365 folder click here and copy this one copy this link right and go here after cd give the space and paste it here right click it will paste press enter so now you can see this prompt had changed we, earlier it was c window system 32 so when you type the command cd c office 365 we are into the office 365 folder let's do the dir just to make sure that we are in the right folder dir and you can see all the files which are there in the, in this folder c office 365 we can through we can see through the command prompt also right okay so now it's time to execute the program so what how do you have to do it there is a command here let me copy let me copy and paste it here so it says setup.exe configuration configure on configure.xml right so click press enter here so once you press the enter you can see this uh, microsoft downloadable or say the installer installer program program will uh, run and it's going to download this office 365 from microsoft site and it's going to install it so we don't have to do anything just sit and relax until it gets over so you can see this installation is started i can see this blue bar so we'll wait for some time and once it's done we'll come back again okay okay you can see it says that all set and it said microsoft office 365 is installed on your computer okay good thank you microsoft just close it now let's click on the start button and you can see this lovely word outlook powerpoint right and should have the excel as i said that excel is the heart of microsoft office without excel microsoft office is not complete application it will not complete the application so click on the excel and perfect so i can able to access this excel here i can able to access the word here okay okay so we have a word and excel and every all the app, microsoft application installed on our system and it's we have taken a grace for five days we have taken a credit for five days this is say that uh, this application is only going to work for five days okay start your free trial so it's asking about this uh, subscription and all so we'll buy this subscription i'll show you how to buy this subscription in the next subsequent video so that's it for today's one so enjoy your uh, office 365 for five days and then buy this subscription so if you found this video helpful please subscribe for more videos like it feel free to share your thoughts or suggestion in the comment below and let me know what topics you would like to see in the future video thank you very much for watching video see you in the next one